Hi, this is Brian Aldrich from 4th Street Software. Today I'm going to show you how to check for an update for your 4th Street baseball game. Okay, I'm going to begin by starting the program. I'm running Windows 7 on this machine, but it works the same way in Windows 8 and Windows 10. This is just a little dialogue telling you that 4th Street Software has signed this program, so it is verified. And the About uh, page there tells you a little bit more about what the program is. This version is 0.0, 1.3, which is a beta edition of the game. All right, now I'm not going to open anything up in this program. Instead, I'm just going to go ahead and check the web for, up, for an update. You can do that simply by going to the Help menu. I'll show you an alternate way here, too, in a little bit. Uh, you need to make sure that your computer is hooked up to the internet. And it may also um, ask you if you want to bypass the firewall or whatever by your antivirus, antivirus program. If you don't choose to do that, I'll show you an alternate couple of ways here in a minute. So here we go. I'm going to check the web for update. This, by the way, is the easiest way to check for an update. Uh, the program is designed not to do this automatically, so you need to do this manually every so often. There is a new version of the program available. It will send us to the update page, and the program will now end. Remember, we were using 0.0.1.3, so I go ahead and click that, and it's going to open up my default browser, which on this machine is Google Chrome. And you can see the current version number is 0.01.4. So we've had some changes here. This just gives you a little bit of the version history, some highlights of it. It's not a complete version history, at this time at least. And there's an update link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And down in my tray here, it's showing me the uh, file being downloaded. Apparently I've done this a few times, which is to be expected since this is a test machine. And once that's been downloaded, the little 14.9 megabyte should disappear. There we go. And it is now set to run. So I'll click on that, and that will begin this little process. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and run this program. And as it says, we're installing 0.01.4. And all this does is uh, basically dump the updated files into the program folder. And it does it all automatically. Some of these uh, may be replacement files for files that are already on your machine. You should be aware of that, so it may update some. Um, you can check in with that to make sure that there isn't something you want to back up first in case you made any changes to your CSS files or maybe some of the picture files that have the same names as the ones made by the company. All right, so this has been fully installed. I'll hit Next. This uh, program is made with uh, Install Creator, which is real nice of those folks to offer that for free. It's a great program, by the way, if you're ever interested in using an installation process. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start the program up again. So I'll go All Programs and find a baseball program. Again, it's verified. It's signed, I should say. And we are at version 0.01.4. Now, you can go ahead and check again. You'll notice there's an additional little line here. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Check web for update. You, as I said before, your antivirus program may uh, flag that a little bit. I know it's safe, so I'm going to hit Always Allow. And it says, your program is up to date. So we have the newest version. Now, what if for some reason your program won't come up with, uh, you know, go to the web support page. Um, check for the update, I should say. You can just take a look at what your version is, and new to version 0.01.4, again, it's still a beta, is visit the 4th Street web support page. So I'll click on that. It didn't shut down the program, but it does go directly to this page. 
Of course, before you install, you'll have to remember to exit your program and then go through the same process that was shown earlier. Another alternate way is to just start up any uh, browser you want. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Four Street Software. And as you can see, I've visited this page a few times, so we'll go there. We want to go to Support and Computer Baseball Game Support. And we're at the same page. So three different ways to get into the same update procedure.